the, this article that I saw today about the Ball Harbor, Florida Police Department just goes to show how much money and how much power there is to be gained in, in the drug trade. And for those of y'all who haven't seen this yet, there's a small affluent town of about 2,500 people north of Miami called Ball Harbor. And the police department there took it upon themselves to try and, and conduct a uh, sting, surreptitious investigation of all these high-level international drug traffickers. And so what they did was they set up all these fictitious bank accounts, uh, well, you know, dummy bank accounts with fictitious corporations and everything to help aid their investigation. And what happened was they were, they were taking all this money from drug dealers, big international drug dealers, and they were skimming money, taking laundering fees, sending money back to places like Venezuela. And some of the people that they were sending money back to were higher ups in the Chavez and the Maduro um, uh, cabinets. And they're not telling the DEA. They took in about $55 million. And these, these cops, this small little police department, they're out pocketing it personally, living the high life flying first class, eating high, you know, fine dinners, buying cars, buying computers, everything. I mean, they figured out a way, and, and by the way, zero arrests. They didn't even try to make one of uh, uh, an arrest on any of these guys. They never even shared the information that they had gained, the intel they had gained with federal authorities. That shows you how much power there is to be had and how much money there is to be gained in this.